What's going on guys? Firstly, let me start by saying thank you for the incredible response we've had to our last couple of videos. Um, I'm doing my best to get these out every week, as you can tell, because it's now, what is it? 10 o'clock on Saturday night, and I'm now filming and ready to edit. We did get a load of footage this week, but it all got lost. <laughs> um, especially massive response to my mental health video that we did. Um, really appreciate all the feedback we've got. We've also got potentially two people starting with us very shortly, so amazing. Thank you guys so much. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment below, notifications on, you know the drill. Today's video is to me a little bit different to anything I've done before. So, I want to talk to you about, ooh, my loadout bag. So, this is my, what I call my go bag. So, whenever I go into a job, this is the bag that always comes with me. I'm gonna talk you through what we've got in here. There's gonna be links below in the description of everything I can find. There is also going to be a giveaway um, for my thousand subscribers, which I know was a long time ago, and I said I would do it, so here I am doing it. So there's going to be a giveaway, details of that at the end, so stick around for that. But we're going to start with this. So front of the bag, and then we'll work our way back. So this is a Milwaukee 8 meter magnetic stud tape measure. I've had this thing a long time, and I absolutely love it. Magnetic tip, I mean tape measure, to be fair, I've got four or five different tape measures that I use all the time, but this is my go-to. I had a long time, it's had an absolute battering and it still works like a dream. So yeah, item number one, Milwaukee tape. This side, we have got our M12 install driver. Now, this is obviously the 12 volt platform, this thing is, it's brilliant, it's so compact, so light. Um, this comes with, this comes with a um, angle drill attachment, a metal chuck, and also an offset. So perfect for getting in little bits of boilers, or if you're building, doing kitchen fitting, all that sort of jazz, this thing is brilliant. Um, this, when, it, when you have none of the heads on it, will take any, Standard hex bit, not that one, because that one's been chewed up. But we'll take any hex bit. So you could put a, put a spade bit in there. And this works directly in tandem with this. So this is my Milwaukee uh, ratchet screwdriver. And all of these heads, so you can see that it's got an array of different heads, basically everything you need. But the bits are quite nice and long. Um, but I can use these directly in with that and then jump in between them. So it all works really well together. This is my number one tool that I absolutely love and this is gonna be part of the giveaway later on, so stick around. Um, but you know, Twin Ratchet is brilliant. Again, I use this every day without fail. This thing always comes out. <coughs> Little boat level. It's a boat level. I mean, this is a Stanley one. Um, again, I've had this a long, long time, but it just slots in there so nicely. And yeah, I mean, we use it all the time. This one's got the magnetic strip on it. So hanging rads or boilers or whatever else. Um, it's great for that. Electrical tester or multimeter. Um, and then I have the leads for it in here. Um, Fault finding or boilers, you need one of these. Now I get these from Screwfix and they are ridiculously cheap. I used to have really posh expensive ones and then I realized that I don't take very good care of them, if I'm honest. So this does everything I need it to do um, and probably more that I don't use it for, but they're super cheap, can't go wrong. Um, drill bit. So, coming across. Everyone's favorite, just a classic old school Stanley knife that you can see takes an absolute battering. Um, it has got some spare blades in there. This is another like, you know, almost family heirloom. I've had this a long time. 
if we come back across plastic cutters these are the monument ones um are they the best cutters in the world no absolutely not but for me for what i use them for they're brilliant this bag has done me i've done full boiler installs with just this in my gas bag and it's brilliant um so these do get used a lot but not only just for cutting plastic let's be honest um i'll cut through cable i'll do all sorts of stuff with it um this is a ratchet one so again really good piece of kit but really inexpensive because they take a absolute pounding and then I, you know, I, I don't have the money to keep buying really ridiculous expensive stuff. So, um, right, we'll do the middle pouch first. Uh, electrical sips or side cutters. These are actually not side cutters, but I use them as such because they will cut through really much anything. I think I actually bought these originally to do some chain link fencing. Don't ask me why I was doing that, I was at home. Um, but they went straight in the bag because they're brilliant. They cut through everything. They're basically indestructible. Um, so yeah, that's those. These I showed you in last week's video. Um, my cable strippers. Um, these are CK. They are amazing and I love them. And I will never ever go to a different type of stripper unless something ridiculous comes out. These things are so good and they get you out of trouble. You'll get me out of trouble on a regular basis. Hammer. This is a new hammer because I don't know if you've ever noticed that when you start employing people, tools in your bag start going missing. Mm. Um, this new swing one. Uh, the other one I had was I'd had for about 15 years and it was very sad that it was lost. But any hammer will do. For the stuff that you want in your go bag, it doesn't need to be anything special. Um, <sighs> bottom nose pliers these are Milwaukee ones can't go wrong you do need them whenever you're working in boilers especially they come in handy those annoying circlips in the back of Worcesters these are what you need I know Parks Plumbing's got a bent pair which I quite like the idea of but this I mean the, the idea of a go bag is it's constantly evolving depending on what you find and what you pick up along the way um but this setup for me has been pretty much like this for a long time now. So, um, set of Allen keys. Now, these are not my favourite Allen keys in the world, um, but they are about an eighth of the price of the Wira ones. So, and they do the same job. So, all the sizes you need in here um, in a nice compact storage, so that you don't lose the Allen keys. Obviously, I've got about three sets of these with this one Allen key missing, which is the one used all the time. But these are brilliant, and again. Not expensive. Um, I have an array of Milwaukee ratchet spanners. Um, 8, 10, 12, 13, and 15. Uh, get out of trouble every now and again. Um, I bought these a long time, well, uh, probably, probably about a year ago now. They don't get used that often, I'll be honest with you. I, I'm, I tend to more reach for the adjustable than I do for these. But when you're working on oil, especially, having a uh, ratchet is really helpful. I've also got a set of offsets that live in the van um, for tap cartridges normally. You know, the Frankie taps that you can't get in without an offset. Mm. So, what else have we got in here? I have, I carry three regular screwdrivers. So I carry a large um, flathead for basically when you need it, the big screws on the back of old radiators, for example, we do that a lot. Uh, gas meters, all that sort of jazz. I carry a small electrical flathead and a small electrical Phillips or a posi. Um, again, these three plus my multi-bit ratchet, I never have to go back for another screwdriver. And I got so sick of carrying 20 screwdrivers. I mean, I've still got them. So in my Milwaukee backpack tool bag that I've got, it's still got, I don't know, God knows how many screwdrivers in it that I never touch. So I worked out what I needed and now I have a solution for that, which is perfect. Uh, also spoke to you about this, my last video. Um, this is gonna also be part of the giveaway. So this is my Milwaukee, uh, I call it a pad saw. I'm sure everyone has a different name for it. But yeah, like I said in the other video, it's got a removable blade, 
um, and these are just standard reset blades so you can use basically anything um, anything in it and so if you're cutting wood you can put a wood blade in it or plastic or metal or whatever else I use this as my pads or my hacks or and everything else in between um, and it folds away nicely so that it fits nicely in the bag and you don't not constantly catch yourself you need to catch yourself on the side of the hacksaw sticking out the bag I hate it that um, other things I have back here are a normal hacksaw blade um, cutting off olives Mm -hmm. I do also have some olive like cutters, special cutters, but I think actually Sam's got them. Um, but yeah, this this sort of thing comes in handy all the time. Um, a file. This is I've got a set of nice files that I barely use to be honest with you because this one does it. So saw pipe, flues, the lot. You file it. This will do it. Oh, it's perfect. This is a half round, which I find for me is the best. And then this is the Milwaukee Wrecking Driver. Now, this thing is a new addition to the bag and has been a real game changer for me. Um, gone are the days of bent screwdrivers and all the rest of it. I haven't got a wrecking bar in here because I don't need it. This thing does absolutely everything. It's also the perfect size for tightening um, basket strainer waste bolts. So anything like that, this thing is brilliant. It can really take a pounding. So you can take masonry apart with this, lift floorboards with it, whatever you need to do with this, it will take the pounding. Um, and yeah, I can't speak highly enough about this. If you haven't noticed, I'm a bit of a Milwaukee bum. Uh, okay, in the side, we've got two spanners. Um, obviously, Barco, um, wide jaw adjustable wrenches are the dogs. Can't beat them, and I have tried everything, basically under the sun. God knows how many of these I've left at people's houses or under floorboards or whatever. So I've got two sizes here. Um, I also have a shorter one as well, which, to be honest with you, lives on my office desk because I keep forgetting to put it anyway. Match those with Marco grips. Um, again, I can't speak highly enough about these. These are an old, old pet. These have got to be getting on for 10 years old and they still work like a dream. So easy to adjust and really, really solid grip on them. Um, so yeah, that's them. Here's my Milwaukee uh, magnetic work light, which yeah, is dead. Um, really, really brilliant piece of kit because I can just strap it to a boiler um, and get on with my life and I don't have to worry about it. And I just strap it onto this I strap it onto the handle because it's got a little clip here. So if you want to hang it up, you can do. Um, again, really, really cool piece of kit. This is, this runs off the rechargeable, it's just a red lithium USB, um, which is also what my laser level runs off and a couple other little bits. So again, I, I can't really speak highly enough about these. They are absolutely brilliant. Um, and you can charge it off your van when you're driving around. It says it's a bit flat. Go to the far side of the bag. M12 pipe slice. Which you've seen before. I've actually done a review just on this before as well. Um, absolutely mint, love it use it all the time, day in, day out. Um, but there are some times when you can't get in with them um, or there's, you know, you can't get enough space or whatever else. So I do also carry in the front here, 15 and a 22 NERAD pipe slices. I have used a hundred different pipe slices in my time. These are the best, like far and away the best. Um, Never ever have I spiral cut it with one of these, even with a blade that looks like that. They're brilliant, absolute mint. Anybody looking for a pipe slice recommendation, go near out. I also have a little piece of clean strip, which obviously I'll replace as time goes by um, for cleaning pipe, funnily enough. And then on the very front, 
is the Bucko mini mini socket set. Now, I have made one addition to this, which again, of course, is Milwaukee, uh, which is this, which basically allows me to take any of these sockets, put it onto that, and then I can put it directly into my like that. So this is not impact, but for the stuff I do, I don't need impact on this. I've got an impact if I need it, but um, you can see how basically everything sort of integrates with everything else. Um, was not expensive and is a real lifesaver. Um, and that is basically it. So that is my plumbing loadout. I use it every day without fail. First thing it comes out of the van, it goes in with me. Um, talk to Sam about that, because whenever we get to a job, I'm like, right, go back out, because that's how I do it. I can do 90% of the jobs that I need to do with just these tools. Um, and this thing, Vito Pro Pack TP5B, is unbelievable. Tiny little bag, tiny little pouch. It hangs up in the van by the strap. It did used to have a little belt hook on it. I would not recommend you use it like that. Um, but hang it up in the van and it takes literally everything I need. So gone are the days of massive tote bags or backpacks and stuff like that. I can get all of that into that tiny little bag and I can get, I can easily reach everything I need to reach straight away. What's not to love? So yeah, that is my plumbing loadout. Hope you enjoyed that. Let's talk giveaway. So I am going to be giving away one of these, which is the pad saw. And I'm also going to be giving away, wherever it's gone, one of these. So these two tools, not these ones, you can't have them, they're mine. Brand new. I'm going to be giving these away um, anywhere in the UK, not an issue to me. To enter the competition, all you need to do is be subscribed to the channel, follow us on Instagram and comment below Milwaukee and I will do the draw within the next two weeks and then I will be the winner, I will announce on a video and then I will get in contact with you and ship these out to you. So if you're interested, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram, comment down below with Walkie. Good luck. Thanks very much for watching.